For this project, you're going to need two pieces of white paper, some scissors, a sharpie, a pencil, and if you need it, an extra eraser. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your rectangle pieces of paper and you're going to make them into a square. How we do that? We take the bottom corner of our rectangle and we make it so that our side lines up with the top of our paper. So I'm going to fold it over, line it up, and then I'm going to cut off this extra piece. I don't need that. And when I open it up, I have a perfect square. You're going to open up your paper, and you will see that it is a perfect square. I'm going to actually refold it, because next I want to make my square into eight triangles. So I'm going to take my already folded triangle, and I'm going to make my long side of my triangle shorter by folding it in half. Make my edges neat. And if I open it up, I should have four triangles. Yep. But I need eight. So I'm going to fold it one more time. Long side, fold it in half. And then if I open up my paper, I should have eight triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do the same thing to my second piece of paper. I'm going to cut out one of the triangles of my piece of paper, and I'm going to use that as my template. So here, I've cut it out, and the piece that I have left is one of the triangles. This triangle is going to be my template. I'm going to write my name inside the triangle with bubble letters. Now, some people's names are really long. If you have a nickname, you're more than welcome to do so. If you have a last name that's short, you can do your last name. But let's go over how to do bubble letters real quick. Bubble letters are really simple. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an easy bubble letter. The letter O is really easy because you make it into a donut. You just add a little O inside of it and now you have a bubble letter O. Letters like M are really nice because all you have to do, add some lines at the bottom, little feet, and then you follow the top lines. For letters like A, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a bubble around each line. Then you erase the inside of your bubble. And you add a triangle. So if I outline my A, so you can see it better, you can tell that I have a nice little bubble going around my capital A. Remember, all of your letters need to be capital. Let's do another one. Let's see. 
These are really nice because all you have to do, curve the top and the bottom, and kind of make it look like a Pac-Man. Do another one. D. D's are nice because you do a tiny D inside. An N. You can do this with it going around with your bubbles, which I'm actually going to do just because it has diagonal lines in it and it's a little bit easier to do diagonal lines with bubbles around them. And then if I outline it, you can actually see the bubbles. And that's how you do bubble letters. So here's my triangle. The next step is to make my name in my triangle. You can use your first name, nickname, middle name, last name. So I'm going to start at the corner as far as I can go. Notice my letters are touching the top and the bottom of my triangle. are getting slanted, which is okay. And here is my name in my triangle. The next step after having your name in your triangle is to trace your name with a Sharpie. Sharpie is always better, but if you have a black marker, that will work just as well. We're now going to trace all of our pencil lines. Here I have traced my name with my Sharpie. The next step is to flip it over and trace it again with Sharpie. Having the Sharpie on the front and the back is going to be crucial to our next step. So here I have my eight triangle piece of paper and my template with my name. I have it Sharpied on the front and the back. The next step is to get our name from the triangle to our paper. So I'm going to line up the triangle so I know that this is how I want my paper to look underneath my paper. So here I go, I'm going to take it, just slide it off, slide it underneath, line it up with the triangle, and then I take my pencil and I trace. This is why it was important that you did the Sharpie on the front and the back so you can see your line. Super important. So here I have my name on one of my triangles. The next step is I'm going to put my triangle back on top and then I'm going to do a mirror image. So what I do is I'm going to lift my triangle and flip it. I'm going to do that one more time. I re-put my triangle on top, and to make a mirror, I flipped it up. This is how it's supposed to look underneath my paper. So here I go. And I'm going to do that all the way around. So. If this is how it's supposed to look here, then I flip it again. So my ends would touch my ends, my eyes would touch my eyes, my T's would touch my T's. Now that we know how to flip our triangle around, what we're going to do is we're actually going to now put it down. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to realign my triangle on top of my paper 
and then I'm going to flip it over. My ends touch my ends, my eyes, my eyes, my teeth, my teeth. So now I'm going to slide it off and slide it underneath my paper and line it up. And I can see the Sharpie underneath, and now I'm going to trace. And I'm going to keep going. Line it back up, flip, slide, slide under. Make sure your triangle is lined up underneath your paper. And here I have my kaleidoscope name. All I need to do now is take my Sharpie and trace all of my pencil lines. After we have gotten our name on every single one of our triangles, the next thing we have to do is we have to take our Sharpie and we have to trace everything. So here is one that I have already traced. And you can tell that my lines are nice and touching each other. I've also made it so that my M's touch my M's, my A's touch my A's, my R's, my R's, and then you can tell my T's create this nice diamond. After you're finished tracing with your Sharpie, you're going to take an eraser and you need to erase all your pencil lines. We want to get rid of those pencil lines so everything looks nice and clean. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to look very carefully at my paper, if there are any spots that I didn't trace perfectly, this is also going to help me hide those mistakes. So I want to go through very carefully and find all of those pencil marks. When you have completely erased everything, you are done with the first part of your kaleidoscope name project.